The Independent National Electoral Commission and members of the civil society organization are asking for quick harmonization of the 2021 Electoral Act Amendment Bill and transmitting the same to the President for assent before the end of the year. At a two-day retreat of the Joint Senate and House Committee on Electoral Reforms in Abuja, the INEC Chairman, Professor Mahmoud Yakubu, also appealed to the lawmakers to continue to endow the Commission with the power to choose the type of technology to deploy during elections. Take a listen. The 2021 Electoral Act Amendment Bill is no doubt one of those bills that has attracted so much debate and with its passage by both chambers of the National Assembly, many are hopeful that it will eventually be signed into law and improve the country's electoral system. The chairman of the Joint Senate and House of Representatives Conference Committee on the Electoral Act Amendment Bill the chairman of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, and members of the civil society organizations brainstormed on the harmonization of the 2021 electoral bill. The meeting was to reconcile a few differences in some of the clauses in the 2021 Electoral Act Amendment Bill before transmitting it to President Buhari for assent. I'm happy to state that most of what we call citizen top priorities of the Electoral Amendment Act have been addressed by the Electoral Act 2021. The task of this conference committee is therefore very clear, a reconciliation of the differences in the few clauses of the bill as passed by the Senate and House of Representatives. We welcome the new provisions of the draft bill that seeks to enhance the participation of people with disabilities. And we believe that given political will, the same progress can be made with regard to the participation of women in the electoral process. The Senate recently reversed its earlier position on electronic transmission of elections results, but both the Senate and the House of Representatives need to harmonize other clauses in the bill before transmitting it for presidential assent, and promptly so. I want to assure you that in a proactive manner, the Commission has been studying aspects of the amendment bill even before it's finalized by the National Assembly and assented to by the President. And we have identified areas that require formulation of regulations and guidelines, as well as the review of prescribed forms for implementation. This will enable the Commission to test run procedures and pilot innovations ahead of the 2023 general election. The speedy passage of the bill will be in the best interest of our electoral process. There are extensive provisions in the current bill that require clarity, and INEC must rise to the occasion to provide guidance. With only 484 days to the 2023 general election, time is of the essence. As you finalize on the electoral amendment bill, I urge you to continue to endow the commission with power to determine what technology to deploy in our elections at the appropriate time. Beyond the Electoral Act Amendment Bill, civil society groups and the diplomatic community want legislation that will ensure inclusiveness and internal party democracy. I always think it's important to provide options, but the National Assembly in its wisdom has uh, decided to go on direct primaries. Uh, but again, um, the implementation of this or successful implementation of this will depend on one key thing, which is the issue of internal democracy within parties. So the issue at the end of the day is not whether it is direct or indirect primaries. It is whether there is internal democracy with parties. Is it possible for parties to respect their own rules? If they can't, then it wouldn't even matter at the end of the day whether it's direct or indirect primaries. So I think that what the parties need to work on is how to define their rules, to respect their rules, and to implement their rules. That way, the complaints will be limited. 